you guys have any other problems with this game, go check out my other tutorials. And now let's hop right into it. Oh, wait, we can't hop right into it until you subscribe. I'll wait. Bruh. Oh wait, I actually can't tell if you've subscribed. You should do it anyways. We're gonna be going through every single level in this game. Level one is fairly simple. It's essentially just a maze. So just go the right direction. So you essentially just come down from right there and then all the way down this way. And yeah, it's that simple. Okay, uh, there's the spooky guy. Luckily, when you're in private codes, I don't know why some private codes have the monsters broken. Alright, this level, um, I think it explains itself. I don't think anyone could possibly have trouble with this level. Just, like, go hit every single button and, yeah. Alright, level three, you wanna find the wheel. Now, there's a few different spots it can spawn. The first one is down straight left right here, which it can spawn right here. It's not there for me this time. Banana bug, give me that. The other one is just right down there. Yeah, see, so the wheel's right down there, and... Something else is down there. Now, there is another place they can spawn, which is down that hallway and, like, kind of down a ways. Which is the unlucky way and the longest way. Just to... Um... Hey, can I... Uh. Oh, that was scary. <laughs> Level 4. If you have trouble with this one, like, seriously, go get some help. Look, just don't go down that one. Don't go down that one. Go down this one. Yellow one, question mark, all the way down. Uh, all right level five this is the scariest one in the entire game so just hit the all the buttons there's three buttons level six randomly generated keys so you just gotta go find the key it's a little yellow like chicken nugget looking thing oh yeah like this there we go Ugh. excuse me okay i guess he's just hanging out inside of the wall bro how did he get in the wall all right this thing you have to put in a super advanced code that the numbers put up no i'm just kidding you just hit these buttons bro really is it that hard to figure out all right go check out the pizzeria because that's probably the most important thing in this level and then go get all the bras now the first one i like to get is right in here so i'll just go straight over here and drop down to level eight break your tailbone and drop it down again and break your tailbone again. Now, uh, okay, this one is trial and error. So you just kind of got to tap every single rock. <laughs> but what I've noticed is whenever I play this level, the rock is normally right in that area or in this area. Oh, found it. Good luck finding the candy on this one. Just come over here. Some candy. Oh, st delicious. stop talking. Ah, this is the part that burns my eyes. All right, level 10. Four buttons and no more annoying pumpkin to bother you. Good luck finding the four buttons. <laughs> the huge question that I have, why is the ceiling pink on this level? Like, what were you thinking? Is this cotton candy? All right, there's six of these little things that you gotta go around and find all around the map. So good luck finding them. Level 12, you gotta find eight presents around the map. And when you beat it, you get absolutely no reward. There's just nothing. It's just kind of a hole behind the door that says, hey, it's like 3 a.m. I need to go hit the sack. Bro, do you not get enough sleep? Maybe get some more sleep. Anyways, thank you, Monkers, for watching this video. You must like and subscribe. When it's gray, that means you're a true gamer. Anyways, bye, Monkers. I will see you, Monkers, in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.